tragically killed in Kharkiv yesterday due to the ongoing hostilities. We express our deepest condolences to his family and to that of each and every innocent civilian who has lost his or her life in this conflict. We demand safe and uninterrupted passage for all Indian nationals, including our students who are still stranded in Ukraine, particularly from Kharkiv and other cities in the conflict zones. Many member states share this concern. We have reiterated this demand to both the Russian Federation and Ukraine. This remains our foremost priority. Ensuring the well-being and safety of our citizen is the basic duty of every government. We have therefore instituted special flights to bring back Indians home from conflict zones. My government has deployed senior ministers as special envoys to countries neighboring Ukraine to facilitate evacuation. We thank all neighboring countries of Ukraine for opening their borders and extending all facilities to our embassies at this time. India has already dispatched humanitarian assistance to Ukraine. This includes medicines, medical equipment, and other relief material. We are sending more such tranches in the coming days. India supports the international community's call for an immediate ceasefire. We also support safe humanitarian access to conflict zones. We remain firm, firm in our conviction that differences can only be resolved through dialogue and diplomacy. Prime Minister Modi has unequivocally conveyed this in his discussions with world leaders, including of the Russian Federation and Ukraine. He underscored the urgent imperative for humanitarian access and movement of stranded civilians. We therefore sincerely hope that the second round of talks between the Russian Federation and Ukraine will lead to a positive outcome. India urges that all member states demonstrate their commitment to the principles of the UN Charter, to international law, and respect of sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states. Keeping in view the totality of the evolving situation, India decided to abstain. I thank you, Mr. President.